Hi, there's Paul Bergen here from the Mars Hill blog, which you can find at www.paulbergen.blogspot.co.uk. And what I'm talking about today, because I'm doing this series of blogs about the history of polar exploration, uh, or key moments, is the first crossing of Antarctica from 1955 to 1958, specifically during the Antarctic summer of 57-58. And it was led by uh, Vivian Fuchs, and they s did a similar route to the one Shackleton planned 40 years ago, the endurance was caught in the ice and basically it involved going to uh, the Weddell Sea and with snow cap tractors that uh, were resistant to the, the cold they managed to go across farther south pole down towards the Beardmore Glacier and uh, towards a spot base in the Murdo Sound near where Scott Hart Group was. And uh, on the New Zealand side, in the Ross Ice Shelf, was uh, the first person to climb Everest successfully uh, and return, Sweatman Hillary, and he led a um, group bringing supplies, etc. He was told by Fuchs to stop at a certain point, but he knew that meant that Fuchs would get to the South Pole, he wouldn't, so Hillary disobeyed orders and he was waiting for Fuchs at the South Pole. <laughs> Uh, with the appropriate supply. It was seemingly effortless, but it was no mean feat, and it took place as well when they reached the South Pole with the setting up of what became the Scott Evanson base. Uh, it, it was an international year in terms of uh, exploration and building in Antarctica. So, incredible achievements. And uh, but perhaps because it was so effortless and in the modern age it's perhaps easily forgotten, forgotten. but it shouldn't be and kudos to Fuchs and Hillary